Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria and if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe. So the next day this was the next day of the previous video. I had some samosas uh, which I had made in the beginning of the Ramadan. I thought of frying these and also I had the pinwheel samosas. I did not want to waste this and I wanted to clear my freezer that's why I thought I'll finish this off and if I wouldn't fry this today it would remain as it is so I thought of finishing them so in the previous video I couldn't show you all how I uh, you know in the last moment it was all in a hurry that I couldn't uh, shoot the video so today I'm going to show you all how I did it and also I thought of making some custard for that uh, here I've taken uh, milk, this is about 500 ml of milk. So here I have this brand of custard powder, you can take any other brand, uh, here I'm using this one. So I'm going to dissolve the custard powder in some cold milk. So here I've taken about 3 tablespoons of custard powder because I want it thick. So I've taken here about 3 tablespoons of custard powder and I'm going to dissolve it in uh, about 3 to 4 tablespoons of milk. While dissolving, make sure there is no lumps because as soon as you add to the hot milk, it is going to form a lump. So make sure you dissolve it well. So once the milk starts to boil, I mean it's almost about to boil, I'm going to add about 4 tablespoons of sugar. You can add more but 4 tablespoons would be perfect for 500 ml of milk. After adding the custard, make sure that you keep stirring it continuously so that there's no lumps and cook it for about 3-4 to four minutes until it starts to thicken. So whenever making custard, make sure to use non-stick pan or a, a saucepan instead of aluminium or a steel. Uh, in steel pan, uh, they're going to stick to the bottom and we don't want to burn our custard so make sure always to use non-stick or a saucepan so once the custard has started to thicken i'm going to turn off the flame and also make sure to keep the flame on low while cooking the custard So here our custard is ready. I'm going to transfer this into a, a serving bowl uh, so that this cools down and I'm going to refrigerate for one hour. Or you can refrigerate for uh, um, four to five hours also but one hour would be more than enough. I do not want it to be too cold. So I'm going to transfer this and then cover it with a cling film and refrigerate okay, this. Someone wants to sleep. Ayana, do you want to sleep? Do you want to sleep? Come. This is how she takes me to sleep. Okay. So it almost rains every day here in Saudi now. So it's thundering, lightning and raining almost every day. Doesn't feel like as if we are in Saudi. Feels like home in India. So it was almost time for Azan. First I put all the samosas to the hot oil. I started cooking them. Here I started peeling the and cutting bananas and apple for custard you can use any of your favorite fruits except the sour fruits because your custard is going to turn bitter if you add kiwi orange or any other st uh, sour fruits use only like apple banana pomegranate you can add nuts you can add dates they'll all taste good so here uh, i'm going to dip the pinwheel samosas in the 
batter and then fry them also i started uh, frying them once the samosas were done i put all the pinwheels and uh, wanted to finish them off so here i started chopping um apples as well uh, you can peel the apples or you can put as it is so uh, whenever uh, making custard serve them chill because they're going to taste uh, very nice and um, i'm going to show you all more recipes with the custards inshallah in coming days so for that please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so here we have the fruit bowl custard some cut fruits cast a caramel and the fried samosas and pinwheel this was the next day we went to a iftar in a restaurant uh, this my husband had a voucher of iftar party in a restaurant so we thought to have a break and have a iftar in this restaurant i think this was in damam or raqqa i'm not sure but the restaurant was good ambiance was perfect and the food was so delicious Uh, they had so many varieties of food. Uh, almost half of the things we couldn't eat, but I tried to have most of them. I at least tried to have the taste of each uh, as much as I could. Not everything. I couldn't take everything and have because, you know, as soon as you break the fast, you can't have too many. So I thought to have a few, and I had few, and. they all tasted so good the mandi rice the kapsa all tasted absolutely delicious it wasn't the first time i was coming here i had come 3 to 4 times uh, not the last year but previous of that year and once 5 uh, years back i had been here and uh, that time the food wasn't that this great but this time it was absolutely delicious they had so many varieties of salads hummus and uh, tahini sauce so many salads i couldn't even count and uh, so many types of cheese and vegetables um, and also so uh, the varieties of desserts and um, also they had this grilled fish with some uh, creamy sauce which tasted absolutely delicious i loved it they had pasta counters shawarma counters but we didn't take any of them we had all this arabic food and salad and lots of dessert we took one dessert each and uh, we uh, shared and uh, tried tried them also there was a soup uh, which was uh, delicious mm, uh, there were so many fruits as well but uh, we were all into these desserts uh, salads and uh, kapsa also we had this um, uh, kebabs uh, there were steaks also we tried them and kunafas baklava varieties of baklava here you can see there's a date tower and a marshmallow towers and all uh, macarons uh, varieties of pastries and cakes um, okay there was also some chocolate ice creams which caught over uh, uh, soon after it was open uh, here you can see variety of desserts and fruits were kept so we had a great time uh, breaking our fast here uh, in holiday inn so after that we went to uh, cut ayun's hair we went to a salon ayun wanted a haircut and also ayana had a first haircut i couldn't shoot because she was continuously crying and i couldn't shoot much and that's all for today's video hope you have liked my videos coming up with more such videos please do not forget to subscribe to my channel assalam alaikum take care